Imagine a world where wealthy women use their financial power to make the planet a better place for our babies, especially our daughters. Entrepreneurship, I find, is great not only for mothers, but for the neurodiverse because you can make your own hours, you can work with your own cycles, and most importantly, when inspiration strikes, it is absolutely possible for you. Going off grid from traditional norms, that's what pleasure psychology is all about. Let's embrace a feminine view of money and success, which is about giving yourself permission to have it all on your own terms. I am really tired. I didn't get any sleep last night. My newborn kept me up all night. I got to be real with you. I'm really struggling with the idea of returning to corporate after having my baby, I only have a week left and I just can't imagine leaving my precious baby to go do something I hate. I hear you. Balancing motherhood and a career can feel like a high wire act without a safety net. Constantly feeling like you're kind of failing at both. But let's explore this together. Close your eyes and envision a new money story. One where you have the power to create positive impact in the world, all while changing diapers and singing nursery rhymes. Let's break it down into four steps. Number one, cultivating an abundance mindset. This means shifting your focus from scarcity to abundance. Seems obvious, but this can be very hard to do, especially because we are very much indoctrinated with limiting beliefs like scarcity. This can manifest in all forms, in our relationships, in the financial department, in the career sector. But instead of worrying what you don't have, focus on what you do have and visualize yourself surrounded by abundance in all forms of your life, wealth, health, in relationships. For example, every time you feel stressed about money, remind yourself of the abundance of opportunities available to you. Whenever I spend money and I get a little nervous, I think, well, there's more where that came from. And let's think about it. Everything that we truly need, and I don't mean like I need coffee, although let's be real, I do need coffee. The things that we truly need are freely given. For example, oxygen. Maybe they'll find a way to monetize it, but as of yet, water, oxygen, they're all freely available to us. And if you are struggling with money, think about where are you abundant in your life? Is there an abundance of nature around you? Do you have an abundance of friends? Do you have an abundance of problems? Even that can be turned to an abundance mindset. It's all perspective. And again, be so compassionate with yourself during this process because we are all programmed with this sort of victim scarcity mindset that there's never enough. And so to really unpack that takes a lot of patience and dedication to really live an abundance mindset. But when you do, you'll never go back. Embracing risk-taking. Now, this is where it gets a little kinky. Entrepreneurship requires taking calculated risks and stepping outside of your comfort zone, facing a whole slew of visibility fears. It's like diving into a pool and not knowing how deep it is. Very disorienting. But each risk you take is an opportunity for growth and learning. Starting a side hustle or investing in yourself may feel daunting, but the potential rewards are worth it. I know when I start my private practice, I had the opportunity to work in a more conventional doctor's office. And I decided not to because I did not want to wear dress pants ever. (laughs) And lo and behold, as soon as I put the deposit down on my expensive, beautiful new office in this huge sort of historic, beautiful building. I found out I was pregnant. (laughs) So my business now is a teenager. She's 13 years old and she's grown along with my daughter who is 11. And so I just want to say that being a mother and being an entrepreneur can be totally difficult, 
but it also is the biggest risk and the biggest reward you could ever take. Doing it your way is what pleasure psychology is all about. Tip three, nurturing relationships. Start with who you know, that's your biggest connection. Just like it takes a village to raise a baby, it also takes a village to raise a business. And sometimes your biggest leads are the people that already know, like, and trust you. I highly encourage surrounding yourself with a supportive network of like-minded individuals. Okay, so a good general rule of thumb is don't take advice from people who A, are not in business, B, are less successful than you. It really is a different dimension when you are working for yourself and creating a passion-based business. You really want to be the least successful person in the room so you can sponge up all of that abundance mindset. And these relationships act as your safety net, providing emotional support and practical advice when you need it most. For example, joining a mastermind, I have one, or networking with other mompreneurs, have a mom's group too, that can provide valuable support and resources. And you know the fourth tip has to be about pleasure. So I want to talk to you about reclaiming your pleasure. We want to incorporate pleasurable activities just like we would for our mental health along with our business. We want to infuse into our daily routine moments to cultivate joy and fulfillment, whether it's taking a walk in nature in between sessions, practicing mindfulness or meditation or mindset before you get going for the day, or indulging in creative hobbies like art journaling. Prioritize activities that bring you pleasure and nourish your soul. And my biggest tip would be not to create from a place of pain. Sometimes we just have to do the thing and show up for ourselves. But when you can infuse your offers, your content, your creativity and your passion into it, that's when things get really magical. Remember, pleasure is not a luxury, it's a necessity for your well-being, despite what the patriarchy tells you. Embrace the journey, take risks, nurture your relationships, and reclaim your pleasure along the way. You got this.